trying to get to the drive-in movie theater over here in Montclair, California. Running a little late for the movie. My GPS accidentally had me going to Burger King. So we'll see. Uh, supposedly, Groundhog Day with Bill Murray is playing. I haven't been to the movies in over three months. I love my sci-fis, but I don't think there's any sci-fis playing tonight. I don't know the last time I've been to a drive-in movie theater. This is exciting. Oh my God. They said lane two right here. So you gotta follow directions and you also have to social distance while you're here at the movie theater. This is intense. I literally have not been to a movie theater in ages. It brings back a lot of memories. I remember I went to see Selena and uh, the guys with a pimped out ride, they were there at the movie theater. I mean at the drive-in. So here we go. I think I'm running a little late. I don't even know where this is. That's a different movie. This is it. This is it right here. Okay. Now you got a social distance. I don't know. Seems like there's a lot of bumps around here. We've got a social distance. as I can. I love Bill Murray movies. I think a lot of guys like to hang out in the back so they can make out. This is it right here. Can't believe it. Once a year, the eyes of the nation turn to this tiny hamlet in western Pennsylvania to watch a master at work. The master, Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous weatherman, the groundhog, who, as legend has it, can predict the coming of an early spring. So I guess the question we have to ask ourselves today is, does Phil feel lucky? Then it's the same old shtick every year. The guy comes out with a big stick and raps on the door. They pull the little rat out, they talk to him, the rat talks back, and then they tell us what's going to happen. Now you can go back to Puxatawney, 
rock or you can go ahead and freeze to them. <laughs> it's your choice. So what's it gonna be? I'm thinking. This is a good part right here. Hey! Phil? Phil? Hey! Oh, Phil Connors! I thought that was you! My, oh my, Phil Connors! Now, don't you say you don't remember me because I sure as heck fire remember you. Well, <laughs> Ned Ryerson. Bang! Oh, first shot right out of the box! So, how's it going, old buddy? Well, uh, to say the truth, Nettie, I'm not feeling real well. Would you excuse me? Well, you know, it's funny you should mention your health because you will never guess what I do now. Do you sell insurance? <laughs> oh, Bing, again, you are sharp as a tack today. Do you have life insurance, Phil? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Right? <laughs> I mean, who couldn't? Be nice to your sister. Don't mix beer and wine, ever. Oh, yeah. Don't drive on the railroad track. Phil, that's one I happen to agree with. <laughs> I don't know, Gus. Sometimes I think you just have to take the big chances. The second movie was uh, a movie called Infamous. Uh, it's about two lovers, uh, young lovers, uh, who go bank robbing. And uh, basically, it's a lot like uh, the movie Badlands with uh, Charlie Sheen's father, Martin Sheen. Uh, I'm not saying it's a rip-off, but... Uh, it's like that if it were like in modern times but uh, I guess I'd say two jalapenos and uh, I think that was the invisible man all in all it was a very eventful night I was glad to make it to the drive-in and uh, now that they're all, uh, a lot of them are open, uh, just make sure to social distance. <laughs>